welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a, a great matchup between the Blue Valley Southwest Timberwolves and the Shawnee Mission East Lancers. Let's go ahead and meet our competitors first from Blue Valley Southwest. I'm Grant Laster. I'm a junior and my favorite Will Ferrell movie is Old School. I'm Ron Bergen. Uh, no, I'm Jack Ayers. I'm a junior and my favorite Will Ferrell movie is Anchorman. I'm Tristan Locke. I'm a junior and my favorite Will Ferrell movie is The Campaign. I'm Katie Super. I'm a junior and my favorite Will Ferrell movie is Talladega Nights. I'm Amanda Miller. I'm a sophomore and my favorite Will Ferrell movie is Semi-Pro. And let's go ahead and meet our competitors from Shawnee Mission East. My name is Matt. I'm a senior and my favorite actor is Morgan Freeman. I'm Mackenzie. I'm a sophomore at East and my favorite actor is Chris Farley. I'm Sarah. I'm a senior at East and my favorite actor is Charlie Chaplin. My name is Brian. I'm a junior at East and my favorite actor is Ben Stiller. I'm Polly. I'm a senior and my favorite actor is Nicolas Cage. And I am your host. I, you know, I'm going to change my mind. I love Elf. That's my favorite Will Ferrell movie. Yeah. And I'm going to say my favorite actor might have to be Matthew Modine. Look him up. All right. Here we are on, on categories. During the first round, a question is asked of a team. If they respond correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal that question. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by the Timberwolves. So here is the first question. And the category is American history. What type of home was built in the er by the early settlers on the treeless plains where wood and rocks were scarce? Sorry, right, time on that. Lancer's chance to steal this American history category. What type of home was built by the early settlers on the treeless plains where wood and rocks were scarce? Mackenzie. Sod house. A sod house is correct. Very good. East, you do get the next question. It is world geography. The first settlers of this Australian city chose one of the in one infertile land site on the east of the continent. Today, it is a thriving metropolis and contains Australia's stock market. Name it. Polly? Sydney. It is Sydney. Very good. Timberwolves, next question for you is U.S. geography, specifically cities. The oldest part of New Orleans is called what? Katie? The French Quarter. It is the French Quarter. Very good. East, European history, specifically military history. What 83-man unit is the, world's, is the world's smallest army? The world's, oh, what 83-man unit is the world's smallest army, the world's oldest army, representing the world's smallest nation? Polly? Vatican City. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Timberwolves, chance to steal this military history, European history question. What 83-man unit, Grant? The Swiss Guard. The Swiss Guard of Vatican City is what I'm specifically looking for. Timberwolves, general knowledge is the next question. For a time, this wrinkled dog of China was considered the world's rarest breed. Name it. Katie? The Sharpe. It is the Sharpe. Lancers, you have the next question, and it is current events. Which Republican strategist had a meltdown on air after Fox News announced President Obama beat Mitt Romney in Ohio? Polly. Carl Rove. Carl Rove, very good. Timberwolves, architecture is your category. In the style of architecture, is Westminster Abbey Greek Revival, Romanesque, Gothic, or Georgian? Grant. Gothic. It is Gothic. Very good. East, ancient history is your category. The basic military unit in ancient Rome had nearly 3,000 heavily armed men, 1,200 lightly armed, and 300 cavalrymen. Name the unit. Timberwolves, chance to steal this ancient history question. The basic military unit in ancient Rome, it had nearly 3,000 heavily armed men, 1,200 lightly armed, and 300 cavalrymen. 
name the unit. Tristan. A legion? It is a legion. Very good. Timberwolves, you do get the next question. Is a vocabulary. Identify this nine-letter word. It's a conclusive statement, a person cited as an expert, or a person in command. Time on that. Shawnee Mission East, you have the next, uh, you have the chance to steal this vocabulary category. Identify this nine letter word. It's a conclusive statement, a person cited as an expert, or a person in command. We're looking for authority. Authority. Lancers, you get the next category. It is world geography. Herculaneum is on the other side of the mountain from what famous city? Polly? Pompeii. Pompeii, very good. Literature is your category, Timberwolves. What breed was Jack London's White Fang? Tristan. A husky? He was a husky, very good. U.S. government is your category, Lancers. What 1966 legislation requires federal agencies to make information available to journalists unless it falls into one of the several confidential categories? Brian. The Freedom of Information Act. That is the one we're looking for. Very good. <coughs> Southwest Fine Arts Sculpture is your category. What is the common, most common example of kinetic or moving sculpture? Tristan? Performance art? I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Shannon Mission East, did you have a chance to steal this fine arts sculpture category? What is the most common example of kinetic or moving sculpture? Mackenzie. Rube Goldberg? I'm sorry, cannot accept that either. We're looking for a mobile. A mobile. East, you do have the next category. It is world history. What train made its last trip from Paris to Bucharest in 1961? Brian. The Oriental Express. We will accept it, yes. Timberwolves, science, ecology is your category. What term is used by ecologists for soaps or other substances which decompose quickly through the action of microorganisms? Katie? Biodegradable. That's the word we're looking for, very good. East, general knowledge. If a CEO is a chief executive officer, what is a CFO? Matt. Uh, chief financial officer. That's what we're looking for. Very good. Southwest, math is your category. What mathematical concept explains the expansion of the quantity x plus y raised to the nth power using the elements of Pascal's triangle? Brand? Polynomial. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Lancers, chance to steal this math question. What mathematical concept explains the expansion of the quantity x plus y raised to the nth power using the elements of Pascal's triangle? Matt? Combinatrix. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. We're looking for binomial theorem. Binomial theorem. Lancers, you do get the next question. It is film the category. What is the name of, for a brief appearance by a well-known actor in a movie? Matt? A cameo. It is a cameo. U.S. geography is your category, Timberwolves. What are the names of the two peninsulas that make up the state of Michigan? Lancers, chance to steal this U.S. geography category. What are the names of the two peninsulas that make up the state of Michigan? Matt? The upper half and the lower half. <laughs> Judge, I need a ruling on this. No. I'm sorry, we cannot accept that because they're not actually halves. We're looking for upper peninsula and lower peninsula. If you would have left out the word half there, <laughs> sorry about that. Lancers, you do get the next question, however, and it is literature. Edgar Allan Poe wrote a story about two men trying to decipher a code. Name the story. Beep. 
Time on that one. Southwest, chance to steal this literature question. Edgar Allan Poe wrote a story about two men trying to, to, trying to decipher a code. Name the story. It's the gold bug. The gold bug. Southwest, you do get the next question. It's economics. A Honolulu economist might occasionally go to work wearing a lei, but each month an LEI of a different sort would attract economists' attention. What does LEI stand for? Lancers, chance to steal this economics question. A Honolulu economist might go, occasionally go to work wearing a lei, but each month an LEI of a different sort would attract the economist's attention. What does this LEI stand for? Brian? Level of, inf um, excuse me, employment and inflation. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. We're looking for leading economic indicators. Leading economic indicators. Sports, football is the category, Lancers. Since World War II, the Army-Navy football game has usually been played in what city? Brian? Annapolis, Maryland. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Southwest, chance to steal this football category. Since World War II, the Army-Navy football game has usually been played in what city? Jack? Colorado Springs. It is not Colorado Springs. It is Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Timberwolves, you do get the next question, is general knowledge. When he died in 1873, he left $7 million at, at the time, the largest single bequest to establish an institution to be half university and half hospital. That institution in Baltimore is now named for him. Johns Hopkins. It is Johns Hopkins, very good. Lancers, science anatomy is your category. In which part of the human anatomy are the convolutions of Broca? Matt? The brain. It is the brain, very good. Timberwolves, current events is your category. China's 18th Party Congress began on November 7th. How often does China's Communist Party hold a Congress to usher in new leadership? Jack? Uh, three years. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Lancers, chance to steal this current events category. China's 18th Party Congress began on November 7th. How often does China's Communist Party hold con a Congress to usher in a new leadership. Brian. Annually. Oh no, it's not annually either. It's every 10 years, every 10 years. Lancers, you do get the next question. Military history is the category. Only one invader in recent centuries has been able to penetrate the Kremlin. This event took place in 1812 when what conqueror almost overran Russia? Polly. Napoleon. Napoleon, very good. Southwest, you have the next category. It's television. Television. Some of the best news news 12-year-olds got in 2005 was the deal to keep this show on the air until uh, all the way until now. 12-year-olds in 2005 will be 16 in 2009, which would uh, allow the minimum age to audition for what <laughs> reality series? Jack. American Idol? It is American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for getting that right after I stumbled through that question. As we head into halftime, we have a score of Shawnee Mission East 10, Blue Valley Southwest 9. At this part of our program, we will go to a representative from each school as they will give us a campus update. And we are going to go to Grant from the Timberwolves. Grant, what is happening with Blue Valley Southwest? Well, we've just wrapped up our athletic buffer week, which means that swimming, wrestling, and all of our winter sports will be starting. Our theater department uh, just completed their production of Romeo and Juliet. It was quite fantastic. I went. And the choir department will also be putting on Wolfgang, a television-themed charity this year. We're in scene, Wolfgang, so get yeah. ready for that. All right. <laughs> you should be there. Oh, yeah. All right, fantastic. And from Shawnee Mission East, Matt, you are giving the update for the, for the Lancers. So what's happening over at 75th and Mission? Well, we just wrapped up a rather great uh, fall sports season. Our girls' tennis team de successfully defended their 6A state title. 
Girls Golf took the 6A state title for the first time in 25 years, and our boys soccer team also had a good run at state, making it all, way, all the way to the semifinals. Uh, we, our theater recently wrapped up their production of Plan 9 from <coughs> Outer Space, and they were the first high school ever to put on that performance. Um, our Shining Mission East had eight students named National Merit semifinalists, and probably the biggest news, uh, NASA recently held a town hall event at East in recognition of student Clara Ma, who won the essay contest to name the Mars rover Curiosity. Oh, fantastic. Hey, back uh, to what was the play again? Plan, Plan 9, 9 from Outer Space. Plan 9 from Outer Space. I think I saw a couple of pictures that looked like they were taken in black and white, but they were obviously a color photo. So was there some fancy makeup and sets to that? Yep the show. Oh, so they made it look mm -hmm. like an old black and white. Very, yeah. very cool. Very cool. As we head into the second round here on categories, it is the lightning round in which a question is placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team does respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. So here we go. Both teams. Music, opera is the opening category. Here we go. What is the second to none cause of dramatic death in opera? Grant. Poisoning. I'm sorry, cannot accept poisoning. Lancers, chance to steal this music opera question. What is second to none as the cause of dramatic death in opera? Polly? Suicide. It is suicide. Suicide. Math is the next category for both teams. Twin primes are two consecutive odd integers that are prime. What is the first set of twin primes after the twin prime set of 17 and 19? Matt. 29 and 31. That is the next set. Very good. World geography for both teams. What are Oaxaca, Monterey, Guadalajara, and Santiago? Grant. Cities in Mexico. Sorry, cannot accept that. Shawnee Mission East, chance to steal this world geography question. What are Oaxaca, Monterey, Guadalajara, and Santiago? Brian. Provinces in Mexico. Can't accept that either. They are Mexican state capitals, Mexican state capitals. We need to be more specific on that one. Next, next question is, a world is U.S. geography, specifically rivers. One of the most famous bays in America, scenically, commercially, historically, is the Chesapeake, explored and charted in 1608 by English colonist John Smith. Name two of the four largest rivers that flow into Chesapeake Bay. Jack. Uh, the Mississippi and the uh, Missouri. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Lancers, chance to steal this U.S. geography rivers category. Of the most famous bays in America, scenically, commercially, and historically, it's the Chesapeake. Explored and charted in 1608 by the English colonist John Smith. Name two of the four largest rivers that flow into Chesapeake Bay. Brian? The Chesapeake River and the Potomac River. Sorry, cannot accept that. Potomac is one of them, but the other three we we're looking for is the James, the Susquehanna, or the Rappahannock. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Uh, Southwest, I consider this a warning. You need to cut down on the chatter a little bit. Thank you. All right, literature is the next category for both teams. A boy causes his best friend to fall from a tree in what novel? Brian? A separate piece. It is a separate piece. <coughs> American history for both teams. The first four of the coercive or intolerable acts was passed in 1774 as punishment for what? Brian. The Boston Tea Party. It is the Boston Tea Party. Film for both teams. What 1950 film saw Jose Ferrar win an Oscar by a nose? Jack? Casablanca. It is not Casablanca. Lancers, chance to steal this film category. What 1950s film saw Jose Ferrar win an Oscar by a nose? Matt? Pinocchio. You're in the right vein. It's not Pinocchio. It's Cerno de Bergerac. Sports for both teams. What's the official national outdoor sport of Canada? 
Grant? Rugby. It is not rugby. Lancers, chance to steal this sports category. What's the official national outdoor sport of Canada? Brian? Ice hockey. It is not ice hockey. It's lacrosse. Lacrosse. Science, animals for both teams. How many vertebrae does the giraffe have in his neck? Sarah? Four. I'm sorry, it is not four. Timberwolves, chance to steal this science animals category. How many vertebrae does the giraffe have in his neck? Grant? Six. It is not six, it is seven. It is seven. General knowledge for both teams. To test the relative freshness of eggs, place them in a bowl of cold water. Those that are spoiled will do what? McKinsey? Float. They will float. Very good. U.S. government law for both teams. Tom knew that his friend Dick had committed a burglary, but he had concealed his knowledge to protect Dick. This act makes Tom... Tristan? Um, an uh, accomplice. I'm sorry, cannot accept accomplice. Lancers, the category is U.S. government law, and you have a chance to steal. Tom knew that his friend Dick had committed a burglary, but he had concealed his knowledge to protect Dick. This act makes Tom an accessory blank. Brian? Accessory to a crime. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. We're looking for accessory after the fact. After the fact. Both teams. Fine arts, painters is the category. Name any two of the three most influential post-impressionalistic painters. Yes, post. Time on that one is Cezanne, Van Gogh, or Gauguin, or the three. World history for both teams. What period of struggle between communist and democratic nations begun after World War II? Brian? The Cold War. The Cold War, very good. Science, terminology. What sort of symbiosis is exhibited by insects which pollinate flowers? Mackenzie. Mutualism. Mutualism is correct. And you've opened up a bit of lead here. Shawnee Mission East 17 at Blue Valley Southwest 9. General knowledge for both teams. Girl Scouts pledge this, quote, On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country and mankind and to live by the Girl Scout law. Polly? Um, the Girl Scout allegiance. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Katie? The Girl Scout code. I'm sorry, cannot accept that either. We're looking for the Girl Scout promise. Promise. Both teams, U.S. government is the category. What three-letter abbreviation refers to the U.S. Central Bank? Jack? The IRS. Cannot accept that, sorry. East, you have a chance to steal this U.S. government question. What three-letter three letter abbreviation refers to the U.S. Central Bank? Brian? The Fed. The Fed is correct. Math for both teams. In simplest terms, what is the square root of 24 by the square, divided by the square root of 3? Matt. 2 times the square root of 2. That is the correct answer. Very good. World languages for both teams. Name the language group to which the following European languages belong. Dutch, German, Mackenzie? Germanic. Germanic, very good. World history for both teams. What is the name of the family dynasty that rules most of the Arabian Peninsula? It is Saud or Saud. Literature for both teams. Which writer is known to have added 1,700 words to the English language, including Katie. Shakespeare. It is Shakespeare. Spelling. Name and spell the name of the largest lake in Louisiana. It's Lake Pontchartrain. P-O-N-T-C-H-A-R-T-R-A-I-N. Pontchartrain. Economics for both teams. To plan for his economic future, future Mr. Money brought into bought into some of the following financial products. 
Fidelity Magellan, Vanguard Windsor, Oppenheimer High Yield, Dreyfus Tax Exempt. Brian? Mutual funds. Those are mutual funds, and that's what we were looking for. Musical instruments is the next category for both teams. The string section of modern orchestras contain three instruments which, to a 17th century conductor, would be recognizable as treble viol, tenor viol, and bass viol. Katie? Bass, cello, and viola. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Mackenzie? Violin, viola, and cello. Those are the three. Very good. U.S. history for both teams. In 1976, so that he would rank above all other American generals, an act of Congress promoted George Washington to a general of the armies with how many stars? Tristan? Six. Six. Very good. U.S. geography for both, for both teams. Over what, over parts of what five states would you fly on a direct flight between Atlanta and Houston? Matt. Um, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Texas. Those are the five. Very good. Current events for both teams. Vice President Joe Biden announced plans to make a guest appearance on which popular TV show? Sarah? Parks and Recreation. It is Parks and Recreation. Very good. Music for both teams. Phil Spector was best known in the recording industry as what? Mackenzie? A producer. A producer is correct. Science, chemistry for both teams. An amino acid contains by definition an amine group on one hand and a carbox carbo carboxylic group on the other hand. What's the chemical formula for an amine group? Matt. NH2. NH2. Sports. Surfing is the next category. In surfing, the challenging maneuver of riding the face of a wave while staying, staying under its break point is called what? Tristan? Tubing. Can I accept tubing? Sorry. Lancer, so you have a chance to steal this sports surfing category. In surfing, the challenging maneuver of riding the face of a wave while staying under its break point is called what? We're looking for riding the curl or shooting the curl. I think the operative word there was curl. Government for both teams. Of the following persons elected to government office, the ones whose terms whose term of office is the longest is a what? Governor in most states, president, senator, or Matt? Senator. A senator is correct. Language, Latin for both teams. If you're an amicus curiae, then you are a friend of the what? Grant? Arts. It is not the arts. Lancers, you do have a chance to steal this as times ran out. Language in Latin is the category. If you're an amicus curiae, then you are a friend of the what? Mackenzie? Curious. That is not curious. You're a friend of the court. Friend of the court. The, the siren does denote the end of our game, however, and we have a score of Shawnee Mission East 27, Blue Valley Southwest 11. Please join us again next time here on Categories as we will bring you the best and brightest minds of...